Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can compare lists and have it highlighted with conditional formatting, and also how you can compare lists between separate sheets, and also how you can compare lists between separate files. So first of all, using conditional formatting on the same sheet. You can see on the right here, I've got this list colored up because it's not matching the items on this list. If I change something uh, that's the same, so if I put that as bills, that should flag it up as being different. That is a change. That is using conditional formatting. So to do that, I'll use this little list and this one. So I've highlighted this. I want to know what changes are in there. Uh, I better change something first off. Let's just put bills in there. So there is a change and I'll put a figure there different to that. I'll change that as well, and I'll change that as well. So there's a few changes. Highlighting that, going to Conditional Formatting Manage Rules, New Rule. The one I want to use is the Formula option, and it's basically um, clicking on that cell. So if that cell, now as soon as I click on that, it puts dollar signs. I don't want any dollar signs on this, so I'm knocking them off by pressing F4 three times. If D1 equals A1, same thing with the dollar signs, F4, 1, 2, 3. And I can set my format. I'll just say I've got amber. OK to that. OK to that. And then OK to that. And then it highlights all the ones that are equal because I went equals. Now, if you don't want that to do it that way around, you want it to be like this one. So it's only showing you the ones that are not equal. You need to change that around. Quite like that actually so the equal ones are colored up but let's just show you the other way around if i edit this rule instead of equals in there you would put not equals which is less than an equal uh, greater than like that and then that's going to highlight it the other way so now those are the ones that are not equal anything that changes that will automatically flag up now if you want to compare a list from a different sheet so i've got another list there on a different sheet if I make that a bit bigger what you need to do really is just split this screen into two and I'm going to do that by going view new window and then that will give me another copy of the same file and then I can go view and arrange and I'll arrange vertical okay now it's got this other file open that I'm going to use in a second which is the um, different file option but let's this will do as it is now so on this second one i'm going on to sheet two highlighting it exactly the same going to home on this one and conditional formatting manage rules and then new rule bring that over here a bit new rule same thing formula so i'm clicking in there so if that taking the dollar signs off one two three is not equal to that one again i need to knock the dollar signs off that one two three to put the sheet reference in there i want it to format amber okay 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 and then it colors up the same way if i change anything in there to be different Locking these different ones off. You can see them changing over on the other side. Like so. They're flagging up. So that's how you do it across two separate sheets. I'll close this one down and just do uh, arrange all again. So I'll go back to view. I'm on view. I'll make this full screen a minute. So. Now I want to do arrange all to show those two files. So this first file is called compare one. This second file is called compare two. Now I've already got it set up at the top here where it's telling me what the changes are. And again, I could put conditional formatting on that to flag it up. But this is a form that I'm using. I'm using an if function. You can't do it with conditional formatting like I've just done there. It won't work. You'll have to use an if form if function and then you can use conditional formatting on the result if you so wish. I not blank, you could color that up red or whatever. 
So the formula is this. Now, if I just delete all of this for a minute, so you've got nothing there, and I'll just type it out as you can see at the bottom there. So I'm going equals if, I'm pressing my tab key to get the bracket, then I'm clicking on A1 on this sheet, this file is not equal to, then I have to click into the other file. So I'll go, I'll make it the same cell references as this example. So I'll click on D1 and it puts the whole file reference, but it also does the dollar sign again. So I'm pressing F4 three times. So if that is not equal to that, that's the test, comma. Now I want to put the word, there's a change there. So I'm going to use the quote symbols and the ampersand to join text together to a field. So I'll give myself a little space and type the word change and then another bit of space to close the quotes down. Now I need to glue that, I call it glue that with the and sign, the ampersand sign, and then I'm clicking on A1 on this sheet. So it's got the same there, and then that's what it's going to do if it's not equal to comma. If it is equal, I'm going to do quote, quote, blank, leave it blank, and then close the bracket. And just make sure I've got no dollar signs on there. Tick that. And then it's blank on the first one. Just pull that down. And it puts the, puts the changes in between this one. So if I change that one, to Steve, the AA. It should come up there and tell me what the change is. That says AA, change on AA. That one's not saying AA. Then you can highlight all of this and just use conditional formatting there um, to flag up if it's not blank. So if it's not blank, so I'll just go into manage rules, right, new rule. You can just use this top second option there cell value is blank if it's blank in fact not blank i want if it's not blank i want it to flag up red or orange i'll go for orange flag up orange click ok click ok click ok and then each change that you make or that you identify so I'll put an S on the end of cars, that should pick that up. Change car, there's a change there. And because you can see them side by side, you can see that as well. But that's the formula I've used. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. How you can compare lists using conditional formatting in the same sheet and in the separate sheet, but the same file. And then how you can compare lists from separate files using an if function, then, then add in conditional formatting as well. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.